Hey guys, this is Mama Made. So today we're going to talk about seven tips for shopping during the coronavirus outbreak. So obviously we know um, that we really shouldn't be going out shopping for things unless it's essential items. So um, that's the very first thing. Obviously we're not just going to be randomly popping into all these stores, browsing aisles. Um, you want to have a list of the things that you need. And yeah, so this is about shopping for essentials, not just out shopping just because. So let's go ahead and get into my seven tips that I have for you. I would love for you guys to leave any suggestions down below in the comments, maybe some things that you have found helpful. Um, that way others can read them and get some more tips. So my first tip for you is to check the store hours before heading out. Um, some stores now maybe have their first hour that they are open reserved for older people or people with compromised immune systems. Um, so just make sure you're following those rules and let them have their special hour. Some stores are like the first Wednesday of the month or every Wednesday at a certain time or every Tuesday. Every store is a little different. If you just Google the um, chain of the store, they'll probably have something right on the main page. So just make sure you um, are checking before you head out. And I know a lot of stores are closing early in order to have time for their associates to clean and sanitize everything. So my next one for you is to leave the kids at home. Um, you know how kids are, they're touching things. If you have little, little ones, they're trying to put things in their mouth. Definitely not a good idea. Um, Definitely not. Keep your kids at home. Um, maybe leave them at home still sleeping if the store you want to go to is open really early in the morning and they can just stay sleeping at home with another adult in the house. Um, that's what I like to do or my mother-in-law actually has come over once and probably in a week or two she's going to come over again and just watch the kids so I can go out by myself and do my shopping it's less time and it's definitely less germs i know this isn't a possibility for everyone but if at all possible try to leave them home even if you have to have somebody watch them having one person you know being exposed to them is a lot better than taking them in the store and having them exposed to everything that's in a grocery store so this one might seem a little obvious, but we all could probably use a reminder of this, is to just be patient and be kind. Um, there's gonna probably be lines or, um, you know, I don't know, people being extra cautious and, you know, staying back instead of going around somebody in an aisle. Um, just try not to get in the mindset like you're gonna rush through the store because that's probably not going to happen. So just try to be patient and definitely be kind to the other customers around you. Um, say, excuse me, you know, if you got to pass them. Um, just, you know, use common sense and just remember that everyone is a little on edge. It seems like when you're out and about shopping, not everyone, but a lot of people, there definitely are concerns. Um, so anyway, just a reminder to be patient and to be kind and um, yeah, think about the people that are working, the cashiers, the stalkers, just be super kind and nice to them. I'm sure they're working extra long hours. Um, so it does us all good to be patient and kind. So the next one I have for you is to stock up for at least two weeks to avoid making additional shopping trips. Now I've seen an ad, um, saying please only buy what you need for one week that way there's enough for everyone which you know i see where they're coming from but in my mind if i make it i'm not going and clearing shelves just because oh i might need this i make a detailed list of the meals that i'm cooking that way i'm not like oh i'm out of this i gotta run to the store um and i personally am stocking up for four weeks at my next shopping trip um just to avoid having to go back out so once i go um, I plan on doing a huge Aldi shopping haul next week. Um, I might need to run to Giant in between then to get some, maybe some hamburger or possibly some milk, but we'll just have to wait and see. But um, I definitely would recommend stocking up for two weeks and just kind of think in mind, 
if you would have to quarantine, like if you know that you're positive for this, you're not going to be able to leave your house. And I think that's, I think the time period is three weeks. So you might want to just think about that being a possibility too. Um, I know you probably have friends that would drop things off if you need them, but just to kind of keep yourself uh, safe at all, if at all possible, maybe try to stock up for two to three weeks or maybe even up to a month if that's something you're financially able to do. So definitely you want to bring your own um, sanitizing germ wipes, a hand sanitizer, and I definitely recommend wearing a mask. Um, the CDC is recommending it. Our governor in our state in Pennsylvania has asked it's not mandated yet, but I know some cities are mandating it. So um, I know you don't have to, but if you want to protect yourself and help protect others, you might want to bring your own mask. Um, I do have a DIY video. I will try to link that down below. There's so many types of do your own masks and no sew masks and all type of videos out there. So I'm sure you can find one um, that looks like something you think you would like to use. Uh, but definitely bring your own wipes because like at Aldi, the wipes aren't right there where you're getting your cart and putting the quarter thing in. They actually had them inside the store. So you're touching them before you get in the store. And I've already been to a store that didn't even have, they were completely out of them, I guess, because everyone was using them. So I like to have, they, well, I don't know, you might have trouble finding them, but I like Germex wipes and I also have some, I forget what they were, um, Kleenex has germ wipes that I have that I take in my bag with me in case I need them. I also will use them when I need to open up like a refrigerated door, um, just, you know, all the germs that are from opening and closing those things. So I recommend doing that. I also will have hand sanitizer that... Before I go to checkout, I sanitize my hands, and then after I deal with my money, I'll sanitize my hands again, and then once I get back in the car, I sanitize, sanitize my hands again. So, you know, use it as much as you want, but I definitely recommend bringing some things like that along with you. The next tip I have for you is to text and ask your family and friends and neighbors if they need anything while you're out. Um... I know I've had a friend of mine that she's been out to a certain store and I'm like, hey, can you look for this there? And she picked it up for me, which was so nice. Um, it saves me a trip and it saves me from going to another store. Just the less people, um, the better. Now, you don't need to grab their shopping list unless they're maybe an older person. That would definitely be helpful. But, you know, text them and say, hey, I'm going here. Do you have a couple things you need me to look for for you? Um, yeah, so that's definitely helpful. Even your neighbors, maybe if you have an elderly neighbor, or even if you don't, maybe just a family that lives next door, you want to go ahead and say, hey, do you need anything while I'm out? Just to be friendly and definitely would help them out. Um, yeah, save them a trip to the store. So my last one I have for you is to just know that the store may be out of some unexpected things on your list. Um, you know, we're kind of expecting the stores to be out of toilet paper, Lysol wipes, canned goods, things like that. But they might be out of some things that you really weren't expecting them to be out of. Um, the store was out of, what was it I was looking for? Oh, my friend wanted some French toast sticks. They didn't have any of the flavors. I looked for, like, they were completely out of French fries, tater tots, any type of frozen potato product. I never expected them to be out of all of that. So um, who knows what products people are stashing. Um, but just kind of have in your mind that you might not be able to get everything on your list. You might be able to come up with an alternative, but you might just leave the store empty handed and just, you know, do without. Just make the best of it. Um, a lot of the food that we do buy anyway are comforting they're not necessarily essential so anyway that's that so that's all i have for you guys today i would love to chat with you down below in the comments and if you have any tips for others please feel free to leave those also down below in the comments thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one